Hi everybody, uh, my name is Brian, aka The Library Geek, and on today's episode of HTL Geek Speak, I am going to be covering an app called Hoopla. Um, Hoopla is a digital media service giving Horsham Township Library card holders access to ebooks, audiobooks, comics, music, movies, TV, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, before I go forward anymore, I do want to make it known that this service is available to Horsham Township Library card holders. So your card needs to say Horsham Township Library or have a picture of the library on the front. Um, some other libraries do have this service and these same um, instructions will apply to using it if your library has it, but for our patrons, you do need to have a Horsham Township Library card in order to use this service. So, what have I done so far? Um, I went into the App Store on this iPad and I downloaded the Hoopla app, H-O-O-P-L-A. Um, sounds like a lot of Hoopla, that's what the app is. Um, it's downloaded on the iPad, I have an internet connection, and now I am going to go ahead and click to open that up. And it's gonna ask me to log in first. Now, I have not created a login quite yet, so we are gonna go ahead and do don't have an account, sign up. And it kind of explains itself. So we're gonna put in an email address. And this can be your personal email address, of course. It's gonna ask you to confirm that email address. Just making sure I type it in. Exactly correct. It's gonna ask you to make a password. I'm actually gonna move this off screen while I do that. Then you're gonna hit next and it's gonna think for a little bit. So it's gonna ask if you wanna, if you're on an iPad, it's gonna ask if you wanna save the password. I'm gonna go ahead and click save password, that's fine. And now it's going to ask you to search for a library. I'm hoping that you guys can see that. There it goes. So I'm gonna search for a library and I'm gonna go ahead and type in the library that we're here at, which is Horsham. And you'll actually see once you type in Horsham, it comes up, it's the first option. So I click Horsham Township Library, and then I'm going to agree to their terms and conditions and privacy policy. Agree. And it's asking me now, I'm hoping that you can see that, for a card number. So you do need to have this card before signing up for the service. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the card number. I'm actually gonna move this off screen again to do that. I hit next and then it showed me, congratulations, your library allows patrons to borrow up to five instant titles each month. Your library offers audiobook, movie, music, comic, ebook, and television titles through Hoopla. If you need any help using Hoopla, please contact us at 215-443-2609 and we'd be happy to assist you. That is absolutely true. If you do need any help, you can always call the library. You can ask for me or you can ask for anybody. We're all here to help and we're here to make your life easier and we're here to give you as access to as much stuff as possible. I'm gonna hit continue and it's gonna take me right into the screen. It's gonna say, Hoopla is brought to you by the Horsham Township Library. And it is. And immediately it's gonna give you a bunch of suggestions of things to rent. So the big difference between Libby and Overdrive and Hoopla is that in Hoopla, you only have five things that you can check out per month. You can only check out five titles in total. Um, the nice thing about it is there are absolutely no holds. There's no waiting lists, none of it. If you wanna rent Hamilton right now or music from Hamilton right now, you could just click it and do it. Hamilton's actually a great example for me to bring up because when I open this up, what you're gonna notice is one other thing. You can borrow, I'm gonna click borrow. And when I click borrow, it's as borrowing title, Ask me to rate it, which is totally fine, I don't want to. That's great. So once I go into my Hoopla and I go to Borrowed, I can go ahead and click and open this and I can start listening to all the songs from Hamilton right now if I wanted to, which is fantastic. I can get the whole album with just one borrow. I now have four more for the rest of the month. Now, I'm recording this on September 29th. So the end of the month is in two days. What's nice is no matter what, when I hit the first of the next month, you get five more borrows. You're able to return, you're able to lend, loan this item out for seven days. So this will return in six days automatically, 
but once I hit October 1st, I'll have five borrows again. So even if this is still on my account, I will still be able to get five other things. So if you plan it accordingly, you could technically have up to 10 things out at once, depending on the timing. That's your call though. I'm gonna go back to home because that was how we rented music. The next thing I wanna show you is television. So say I want to watch the Broken Wood Mystery season seven. With movies and with television shows, you can only rent one episode at a time. So for season seven of Broken Wood Mysteries, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six episodes. So technically speaking, I could only borrow one episode of this at a time. So as of right now, with my four borrows left for this month, I could only watch the first four episodes of this season. Um, that's just how it works. It is what it is. Um, but ultimately, if you're just trying to get a sense of whether or not you want to watch a show, I highly suggest downloading it in Hoopla and then seeing if we have it here in the library where you can get the full season all at once. It's not a bad way to sort of mix and match to get what you want. One other thing I will mention is um, I'm personally a Roku TV user, and there is a Hoopla app for my TV, so it's built right in. So I can watch any of the stuff that I borrow from Hoopla in the app or in the browser right on my TV, and I can borrow stuff right on my TV. It's really, really fantastic. There's a pretty good selection of movies, kind of stuff you don't see on other apps, which is really nice, plus some more popular stuff as well. Um, the hold lengths are different for each item. Um, I believe for audiobooks and for eBooks, it's three weeks, 21 days. Um, for music, as we saw, it's just seven days. Um, but ultimately, what's nice is once it goes back, if you want to use another one of those borrows to read it again or keep reading whatever, you totally can, which is really nice. Um, it's a fairly straightforward app. I find um, searching for things is not terribly difficult. You just go to the bottom right hand corner where it says search and you can type in up top what you're looking for. So if I wanted to find James Patterson, as I always look for in these videos, Go ahead and use the suggestions and I can see there's a bunch of James Patterson options. They also give you suggestions for similar. If you're more the person that wants to browse and just kind of see what's there, they have the different topics and the different sections listed here at the bottom. So if I want to see what books are available, I can look through and see what books. There's a lot of audiobooks. So say I wanted to start the Harry Potter series. I'm going to open that one up. It takes a couple seconds to load. Click borrow and I'm going to borrow this title for 21 days. Borrowing title. And boom, now I could play it right now. There's one thing that I wanna point out, and that is right here in the middle where it says download to your device. What does that mean? That basically means that I'm going to download this audiobook onto whatever device I'm using at that time so that I can access it when I'm offline, when I don't have an internet connection. That means that if you're downloading this on an iPad or something and you're using your iPad on a road trip and you want, your kid wanted to listen to Harry Potter or you wanted to listen to it in the passenger seat, but you don't have a connection, when you download it to your device, you could still listen to it from this device. You'll have to do that for each specific device you use. These accounts will sync across multiple things. So if you pull out an iPhone and you have Hoopla on there and you have Hoopla on the iPad, you'll have to download it to the iPhone as well as the iPad if that's something you were looking to do. A little bit confusing, but regardless, downloading to your device is never a bad thing. Once the item gets returned at the end of its time, um, it automatically removes itself, so you don't have to worry about that. Additionally, you never have to worry about returning these items. They automatically go back one, and two, if you finish something early, there's no holds anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you wanted to return something on any given item, you'll see that there's a button for return. I'm gonna click return, asking me if I'm sure about that. I am, I hit return now. It returns it in and sends it back and it immediately makes it so if I wanted to, I could borrow it again. Now, again, that would mean I only have uh, two left because I've already took out two, I've already taken out two items. Um, the other nice thing is the reading for books for eBooks is built right into Hoopla itself. So if you wanted to read an actual eBook, um, this is suggesting all audiobooks right now. But the reader itself is integrated into the app, so you'd be reading right on here. Here's ebooks. Switch over. Sometimes it takes a second to figure itself out. Well, I think it got a little bit confused, but that's okay. Let's say I wanted to read Dune, the graphic novel, volume one. I'm going to click into there. I'm going to borrow it. 
Click borrow, that's for 21 days again. It's borrowing the title. It takes a couple seconds. So this one, it's downloading automatically. Totally fine with me. You'll notice that it's gonna scroll down as it downloads and fill out the rest of the picture. That's how you'll know when it's done. I'm actually gonna cancel it for now because I don't wanna actually read this on this device. Um, I will say in general though, if you're gonna get a comic, it's much easier to read them on a bigger screen like an iPad. So if you're interested in reading some comics or graphic novels, I would suggest using an iPad, but you could use an iPhone. It's basically your preference. That's pretty much all there is to using Hoopla. Um, once you associate it with your email account and you get your card and your email account matched up, you can log in anywhere. You can log in on a laptop, on a browser, what in your regular browser, and it totally works. It's fairly simple. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm the Library Geek. I'm Brian. Um, you can call the library and ask for the Library Geek. You can call the library and ask for Brian. You can shoot me an email, which I'll list in the description below the video, and I'll also put the link to Hoopla in the description down there. Um, that's all I've got for you today. Pretty simple, but if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask. I'm always here to help. All right, have a good one, everybody.